Welcome back folks, my name's Shane. Today we're checking out the Mallow Audio MIDI Commander MIDI foot controller pedal as well as their expression pedal. Now this particular setup can work with a number of different devices, anything with a MIDI input on the back of it. So we're going to test it out with the Kemper and see what it also does with my Marshall DSL 40CR amplifier on the floor. Also has that port. Let's get into it. This is beautifully packed, by the way. The box looks awesome. Let's take a look. Here's the pedal up close. Now, my first impressions of this is it's nice and light, but it also feels nice and strong. It's got that cold metallic feel. The buttons feel great as well. Now, on the back of the unit, here's the MIDI out over here. So this will go from the unit into the Kemper or whatever you choose to plug it into. We have the expression pedal here as well. This is the port for that. So we're basically gonna run the wah into here, and that's how that will work. We have a USB and the on and off switch over there as well. And that's the bottom of the unit here. We can also plug in some batteries over here. So there you go. All right, here's the expression pedal. Let's take a look at this one. Same thing, we get some instructions, which is great. Here's the expression pedal. Now the first thing I noticed about it as well is the build quality. It feels great in the hand much like the MIDI controller has that sort of cold metallic feel, which is great. The tension on this is really good. It's not loose or anything like that. So, you know, you're not gonna accidentally knock it down or it's not just gonna fall over time if you leave it in the up position. So it really feels good in terms of tension. And there's the output over here. Also in the box, we get this. This will be the cable from the actual expression pedal to the MIDI controller. Awesome, let's set it up. So to hook this up, it's nice and simple. What I'm gonna be doing is going from the MIDI commander, the output on the back of this, to the input on the Kemper, which is this one right here. Nice and simple. Next, I'm just gonna hook up the expression pedal to the MIDI commander. That's it. This will also be the first time I've ever used one of these type of pedals with the Kemper. So I'm looking forward to this. Let's switch it on and set up some tones and see if it works. So there's a million different ways you could run the Kemper profiling amplifier. This is the way that works best for me with the kind of the tones and sounds that work for when I play live. I like to keep things pretty simple. So A for me is this kind of off clean bluesy tone. And B is essentially the same, just with a little bit more drive and a little bit more volume. Great sort of starting solo tone, you know, if you really want to take it somewhere, you can use that effect. And then I can also click in some delay by clicking number three, and this works also on A as well. So that sounds great already. And now if I go back to A or B, it doesn't really matter, but I'll go back to A. We've got a bit of a uni vibe thing going on as well. Just a great rhythm tone for comping behind another guitar player, especially when you're playing live, that really works well. So now I've got that across all of the different effects. Now if we go over to C, this is where I've got pretty much the same sound as B, but it already starts with a delay on, which makes soloing just really nice. So let's take a listen to this. Just rock and roll sort of tone there. It takes it to the next level. Also works with the wah. So that works great. I really think that sounds good. Now if we go over to D, it's basically the same type of thing again, but with one exception. So let's see how it sounds. So 
So more gain, more volume, and also a more prominent delay. So I can choose between C and D, which has got a little bit less delay and a little bit less sort of volume as well, or I can go crazy with D if I need that. Odds are I'm probably only gonna save that for one time in the night when I play live. And I gotta go over to button number two here, which adds this, check this out. I think this sounds pretty wild. Now I can turn the delay back on. That octave, it just sounds wild and I've only got that on position D on the foot switch. It's just there for a bit of fun. I thought I'd throw it in there. I'm actually gonna take this whole rig out and try it as of shooting this, this Friday. So I can't wait to give this a shot. And this will save on having any external effects on the floor or anything. This will do whatever it is that you program it to do. Now for me personally, it took me a while to work out how to get everything to talk to each other, but it's pretty simple. When you turn the MIDI controller on, just hold down button number three and it will go into Kemper mode and that will save the headache. So read the instructions, I can't stress that enough. One of the cool things about the MIDI Commander is it will also work with amplifiers that have a MIDI input on the back of them. My Marshall DSL40CR has that exact input and it also comes with its own foot switch, but the foot switch only allows you to switch between two channels. This, just plug straight in, will now allow me to change between all four and I'll demonstrate that right now. So we're on the clean channel. I know it might be a bit hard to see, but the green light is on the amp on the clean channel. So let's give this a shot. This is neck pickup. Over to the crunch channel on channel one. Over to the next crunch channel, which I've got set up with a little bit more volume and a little bit more gain. And D, which is the ultra gain channel, which I never use, but have a listen to this. Now the cool thing about this is the fact that you don't have to go just between two channels. You can switch between any of them on the fly, no particular order. So we can go from the ultra gain channel back to clean or anywhere in between.
As you can see, it responds great, but I'm gonna show you in more detail now how quick the channel switching actually is and how quick this actually responds. So here we go. It feels exactly the same to use as the foot switch that's provided with the amp, and I use that all the time, so it works well. So overall, what's my experience with the MIDI Commander? Now, this particular unit feels great in the hand. I love the fact you can power it off a, you know, a portable power supply like this. It just makes life really, really easy when it comes to actually using the unit. You can get hours and hours of battery life with one of these. So yeah, I would definitely opt for that over the AAA batteries. If you're gonna use one of these uh, just long term, it's a better solution. Or you can just power it off your computer. That's also a really cool feature. Now in terms of the expression pedal, this particular unit feels great under the foot. It's not too small. Any smaller, I probably would have complained about it in terms of, of its length, but it does feel really good. I like the fact that it's metal and it feels nice and robust and it's heavier than it looks as well. It looks like it might be really light, but it isn't really light. It's, it's not super heavy either, but I'm saying it actually feels pretty substantial in the hand, much like the actual MIDI controller. So the fact you can use this, if you've got a Kemper or something, you can use it as the volume sort of control of the actual amplifier, or you can use it as the wah if you assign it, like how I did it in this video. I prefer to use it. That way, if I want to turn down, I'll use my guitar. That's the way I kind of look at it. I get it, most people, there's a lot of people that like to do those volume swells and all that kind of stuff. If you're into it, you can definitely use it for that as well. As I've shown you, it worked no problems at all with the Kemper and it also worked really well with the Marshall, but it's also designed to work with other pieces of gear as well as software. So it will work with Jam Up for iOS, Bias Effects, I've actually got the latest version of that coming up on the channel, so stay tuned for that. It also works with the Axe Effects, which is another popular unit as well. The Atomic Series Hardware Effects, which I'm not familiar with, but I'm sure people out there will be. And it also will do custom button programming and all that kind of stuff. There's a menu on the pedal. It gets quite complicated, it goes a little bit over my head, that kind of stuff, but to be able to plug it in and have it work and just assign what you're actually using it with by holding down a particular button when you start it, that's pretty cool. If you've been a long-term subscriber, one thing I've never done on the channel is demo or review any MIDI stuff. It's just not something that I've ever really needed for my particular situation. But now I'm actually thinking of taking the Kemper out and playing it live. This will actually make life a lot easier. The Kemper, for those who are familiar with the channel, it lives on the table here and that's it. I never take it anywhere, but I'm gonna go out and get a hard case for it and we're gonna see whether or not we get some good tones with this particular setup as well, and how it functions at a gig, because that's where it's probably most important for you guys. A huge thanks to Mellow Audio for sending these out. I really appreciate it. If you wanna find out more about them, all links will be on screen, as well as links in the description below. Thanks again, catch you soon. See ya.